Hal has a drug recognition module located on the lower right arm. The left arm can also be used to practice IV procedures, but it will not be recognized by the drug recognition module. The drug recognition feature can be used on the veins located on the interior region of the forearm and the posterior side of the hand. In order to start using the drug recognition feature, the system must be purged with clean water. This is done using the following procedure. First, make sure the simulator is turned on and then attach the drain hose to the black port. Next, attach a syringe pre-filled with clean water to the white port. Once connected, purge the system until fluids can be seen flowing through the drainage hose. Now that the system has been purged, the drug recognition feature is ready to use. Each HAL is shipped with a package of syringes. Every syringe has a unique RFID tag. Using the Giga software, each of these syringes has to be programmed with a specific medication name and a corresponding concentration. This is done in the following way. Connect to HAL using the Giga software and then touch Setup set MedID, and select one of the drugs in the drop-down menu. As an example, I chose epinephrine and assign a concentration, one milligram per milliliter. Now, place the syringe perpendicular to the forearm, wait for the syringe identifier to show ready, and click Add. A list will appear on the window showing all program medications. As of now, only one syringe is programmed in. The drug recognition feature can be used with either IV push or IV infusion. If the provider selects the IV push method, it is important to note that the system is accurate up to a volume of 50 milliliters. If more volume is required, the drainage hose must be connected to the black port to maintain accuracy. When using the system for IV infusion, Gomard strongly recommends that the drainage hose be connected. As the drug is delivered, the software will detect which drug is being given and will calculate the dosage administered. The software can either be set to auto mode, where the drug is applied directly into the model, or it can be set to prompt the instructor, who decides whether the drug gets administered or not. The drug recognition feature can be used at any time during a simulation, or it can be integrated into a branched scenario. For example, in a branching scenario that starts out with clinically significant bradycardia and no action is taken, HAL will progress to ventricular fibrillation. But if one milligram of epinephrine is given, HAL will skip to the next node and the physiologic model will change HAL's vital signs as appropriate. When a session is complete, we recommend that you flush the system with an alcohol solution, making sure to connect the drainage hose to the black port and the syringe containing the alcohol solution to the white port during the flushing procedure. Note, to simulate a patient with no accessible peripheral IV sites, connect only the syringe. Pull the plunger to create suction, which will collapse the veins. Disconnect the syringe tube from the arm port while maintaining suction. The port will seal and the veins will remain collapsed. In addition, Hal has IM sites on both his deltoids and quadriceps.